After preoperative preparation, an infiltration with local anesthetic and vasoconstrictor performed to achieve bloodless operative field. Lone Star Retractor is placed after skin incision to open the wound. Further dissection is performed by scissors or cold scalpel to prevent additional tissue damage. The edges of the torn sphincter are found and gently mobilized without cutting the scar tissue off. Great attention should be given not to damage anoderm or vaginal mucosa. Every sphincter's edge is mobilized and blocked without separate identification of internal and external sphincters. Fibrotic tissue should not be excised. Full length mobilization of the sphincter's fibrotic ends is performed up to the levator muscle if needed. Lateral dissection of the sphincter should be performed very carefully to prevent damage of the anal nerves which are located at 3 and 9 o'clock position. Lateral mobilization is enough when it's possible to overlap muscle edges at least by 2 cm. Muscle suturing begins with overlapping new stitches using absorbable monofilament. Knots should be tied carefully, preventing ischemic muscle damage. Levator plasty might be added if needed. Skin wound is closed vertically to enlarge newly created perineal body. Usually, there is no need for drainage.